All right, so this is a quick tutorial on how to use the most recent version of CAM scanner if you're having difficulty uh, scanning to a PDF. Right, so yours might look a little bit different than mine because I've done a lot of scanning already. Uh, but if you just click on the bottom right-hand button, the uh, camera, okay, you can see that it will open up my camera, and there is what I would like to scan. All right, so you can uh, move in and out as much as you want. Okay, uh, you can see in the middle that it is set to docs. Okay, you also have the option once we get there, there is a button to the right hand side of uh, the camera that says multiple pages. All right, that will allow you to scan each page and they will all show up in the same PDF. Okay, I'm going to turn that off because I'd like single mode. All right, so I'm going to zoom in as best as I can, make sure I have some decent lighting, and I'm going to click the camera button. And it's going to take a picture, and you can see that it figured out where the edges of the paper are. Um, if you're on a white surface or something that's similar in color to your uh, paper, you may need to move the, uh, the different corners so that you are just around the page itself. Okay? And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to, if you want to rotate, if it didn't rotate it correctly, you do have rotation options. Uh, and then you can click the next button. Okay? It will crop it. All right? And then down here you have the option of uh, choosing a bunch of different uh, kind of filters, right? So I, I like magic color. You can see that that makes it a lot clearer than my original, right? So there's a black and white version. So if you're finding that the colors are kind of getting in the way, so kind of, you can go through these. I like magic color. I think it is the, usually gives the best uh, the best options, right? So I'm going to click the check mark, okay? And you can see that if uh, it processed my image, and then I have the option of adding additional pages. So if you want to do them one at a time. Uh, you can also click the Add Page button, all right, and you can see that it will allow me to take another picture, and then that will be page two. Okay. I'm not going to do that. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click at the top the PDF button, okay, and you can see that it is uh, creating a PDF. All right. If there were multiple pages, I'd be able to uh, sh scroll between them. I'm going to click Share, all right, and then these are all of my options. Okay. Um, you may be able to just click Classroom and attach it as a document to a particular post, all right? So we'd have to get to our right classroom, so let's try, okay? So I can create an assignment, because I'm the teacher, uh, and it might allow, and you can see that it did attach it to the bottom there. So you should be able to go right into classroom and attach it as a document. Okay, if that's not working, though, you can also click share, right? And you can either add it to a Dropbox or a Google Drive, if that shows up as an option. Your other option is, uh, down here, I have a save to local. All right, so if I click Save to Local, it tells me at the bottom that it's been saved to my, uh, to my phone. And then you can just go to uh, your classroom and uh, upload it directly from your phone. All right, so hopefully that helps you out. If you have any questions, just let me know, and I will try to answer those.